Hello everyone and welcome to another video. My name is Francesco and what I do in these videos is break down productivity tips, tools and techniques to help you move forward in your productivity. So in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be running over a feature, well, an application called Grammarly. And it's a tool that I've been using now for around about a month and a half. And I mean, this is something that I found when I was just searching the web, um, for not necessarily for new tools, but Someone recommended it to me, and then I found it again on another blog. I think it was Medium. Um, and I definitely was keen to check it out because obviously I had such great feedback from it. And essentially what Grammarly is, is it allows you to you know go about your day, writing, continuing to do all things on the web. And essentially it marks your grammar, um, and it breaks down spelling mistakes, any issues you're having. And it, it basically gives you feedback on that in real time. And I think that's really, really powerful. So as you can see here, uh, what you can do uh, to start off with, obviously you sign up to a Grammar, Grammarly account. Uh, it's a free service and I'm really impressed by their freemium model because you get a lot of functionality um, for the price uh, of zero pound, of course. Uh, and obviously they have a premium model, which I'll talk about in a bit. Um, but essentially uh, what you can do to start off with, if you wanted to copy in some uh, wording, uh, some large text or, or a document, it would then scan through that document up to 100 words because that's what the premium, um, that's what the uh, freemium does. And it essentially brings up feedback. So as you can see, it does this on everything, you know, whether you're writing an email uh, or you're in anything uh, like Todoist or Evernote or anything like that that is functional, except Google Documents, because I don't think they have the support for that yet. Things are options on how to correct things, even grammar mistakes. So if I was to remove this apostrophe, um, I believe it would, wait, if I were to remove this and just have every day, um, what it does is it updates it and then gives feedback on that. So this is, you know, you've confused everything with uh, every day with every day, um, but obviously with the space in the middle. So it continually gives you updates uh, no matter where you are in, the, in, the, in your kind of experience on the web, which is great. So this, this has been something I've been using for a while now, and I've been using it on emails, I've been using it on making new Word documents. I'm a lot more kind of concise, uh, and it tidies everything up when I'm kind of writing really fast emails, and it just quickly uh, brings everything together. I wish it had this auto thing on it where it just did it for you. Uh, I'm not sure whether you can turn that on, but it's something that probably something they can consider. So on the kind of Grammarly experience, you don't tend to go into this sort of the web page all the time. So you can drag in a document and copy and paste stuff and, and actually start editing it. Or you can just have it in the background and it will do, you know, contextual spelling, grammar, punctuation, sentence structure and style. And premium has a, like 250 features and has plagiarism as well, vocabulary enhancement and professional proofreading too. One thing that you can get on freemium is you can find sim synonyms for words. So if you hover over Grammarly, um, you could, you know, have all these uh, synonyms here, say for shops, uh, picked, you know, uh, to use. And it's very clever in the way that it breaks down uh, verbs and adjectives and even nouns as well in getting synonyms for them. So I find that really, really useful when I'm speeding across my day and I'm thinking, oh, I've used that too many times across my day. Why don't I pick something else to use? So I can imagine this would be perfect for the kind of writers who are doing a lot of writing a day. This is what it looks like in email. So for example, if you're pumping out an email and you saw this, it would come up with all these red lines underneath and obviously suggestions. Down here, you can uh, act, add it to dictionary or ignore it straight away. Um, and the same down here as well. And it also does that with grammar mistakes too. Something that I really love what Grammarly does is every week it gives you a breakdown of your writing uh, experience. So um, it will say how much activity you've done, how many words you've written. Um, obviously, this is outside of Google Docs. So it's probably a lot more. But, you know, it tells you how much more active you are than other people, how much you're improving per week and how many, uh, how well you're doing with mistakes. Um, and obviously, your most common mistakes too. So my most common mistake seems to be every week, but it's getting lower, is missing comma and compound sentence. Um, so that's 72 mistakes. But what it does is it gives you that kind of context on that and helps you learn versus like I've reduced the amount of mistakes I'm using with commas now. Um, and obviously full stops as well. And, and, and colons too is, is improving dramatically. So I really like that weekly email they send you. Um, and it's something really powerful if you wanted to kind of be able to get some context on how you're writing. So just to give you an idea of some of the apps that are available, they have uh, Grammarly for Chrome, and I'm a Chromebook user. 
Um, so I'm active on this. It's a Chrome extension that pops up in the top right hand corner. Looks great. Um, and obviously has all the information there about uh, being able to double click and stuff and accessing the new document. And Grammarly for Windows, which is a native app, which goes into all of your documents and kind of gives you a much more uh, detailed experience uh, and, and collecting everything, which is great. I, I definitely recommend any Windows users to get hold of that one. And there's a premium access. So um, they do a lot of deals on here. And once you sign up to their email list, they do a really good job at offering those deals out and obviously kind of getting you to um, go for premium. Uh, sorry, it's taking a bit to load. So you have over 250 premium checks and it actually goes in real detail with all of the stuff. Uh, I was able to try out premium for a week and I do kind of see the huge value that it does offer. Um, it obviously is available directly in Windows, uh, Microsoft Office, although I found it available on the Microsoft Office online anyway, available there, which is great. But obviously, if you want that native ability, then it's available directly there. Um, it gives you relevant sentence uh, correction. So uh, that's quite powerful. Uh, and it gives you customized checks on student essays and Again, uh, being able to proofread everything is pretty valuable, especially for students. I think this is a very valuable student tool. Obviously, you get 24-7 support on phone, which is really great. Um, and obviously, if you're not happy with it, you get a refund. I mean, they're a really fast-growing company, uh, and I really like the way they're doing stuff at the moment, especially on social. They're sharing some really, really nice content around how to improve your grammar and, how, and what the common mistakes are. So I'm also learning on that end, too. So their monthly plan, obviously with 20% off, I've, I've seen 60% off during Cyber Week. There's a lot of other uh, accessible you know, offers, etc. Uh, but the monthly plan at the moment is $29.95 uh, per month, which is around about £20 uh, a month. Uh, and obviously that's per month. Uh, but if you do the annual plan, obviously it's about uh, 10 Ten pound a month, which kind of calculates to £120 a year. I think, I think that's worth it. I think it's... I think it's well priced. Obviously, I wait around till it's you know forty percent. Uh, and if you invite your friends and get them over to Grammarly, uh, it gives you a free week anyway. So if you could keep you know getting free weeks, that's something that you can definitely do straight away. So I definitely recommend downloading uh, Grammarly. I'm gonna click it, uh, click it, click it in, uh, put it in the description below so that you can go and download it straight away. Uh, it's free and I'm using the free model. I love the free model. It's a great free model. Just keep uh, using it and see what you feel like because I think it really does add a lot of value when you're kind of building emails, writing documents, um, Evernote to do it. Just everything. It just improves your kind of concise uh, sentence and uh, grammar structure. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. I hope this was useful, especially for the students. So I appreciate all of your um, time. Uh, please do subscribe because at the moment that is the metric I'm pushing most heavily. So please do subscribe. It will take three or four seconds. Hopefully uh, just drop me a message uh, if you have any suggestions for videos too. Uh, on Twitter, I'm at Francesco D underscore A-L-E-S. And I take any questions anytime. So thank you very much, guys. Make sure you have a great week. Keep productive. And I'll see you very soon. Cheers.